Hello and welcome back to Professional Tutors, the British Online School. We are a unique team of qualified and dedicated teachers. Most of us are heads of department. We are to help our students to reach their full potential. Now today, in today's lesson, we're going to discuss about the angles in a quadrilaterals. Right guys, that's the starter for us. So today we're going to discuss about angles in a quadrilateral and that is what we should know um, the angles in a triangle and angles in a straight line so that's our starter if i can uh, if i can give you a few minutes and if you can give them a go and we're going to discuss those uh, answers right guys let's look look at the answers so um the angles in a triangle they add up to 180 uh, angles on a straight line they add up to 180 again and these angles are called supplementary angles now this angle equals this angle and that is what you called um, a vertically opposite angle now these two lines means that uh, this is an isosceles triangle and for an isosceles triangle uh, the base angles are equal so if this angle is 52 degrees that is going to be 52 degrees as well now in this case uh, this is 48 degrees and this is 66 degrees well that is what they have asked so in this case what we can do that we know uh, this is 48 now we need to know this fact which most of us don't know and students normally get this wrong in exam the external angle this angle is equals to the sum of interior opposite angles that's the fact we need to remember exterior angle equals to the sum of interior opposite angles so if this is 124 that's 48 so 48 at 66 is going to be 124 that's the fact we need to remember what well, guys we know what is a quadrilateral so quadrilateral is a shape with four sides if we can draw any shape with four sides and if we can measure all the four angles they all add up to 360. am i correct so I look at this question. So in this question, we've been given three angles in a quadrilateral. So 76, 125. Um, we have given this here. So we need to know what this is. And we need to find um, an angle A. So if I, if I can give you one minute. So let's try, let's give it a go. And we're going to discuss the answer in a minute. Right, guys, let's have a look at the answer. Um, so we know that all the angles of a quadrilateral they add up to 360 now this symbol is a symbol for right angle which is 90 degrees so what we have to do if we can add these three angles together which is 90 add 76 add 125 and take away from 360 we will get this answer so just have a look so we know this fact that angles in a quadrilateral they add up to 360 this angle here is 9 degrees so 90 add 76 add 125 add a is 360 so if you can add these all up 90 plus 76 plus 125 that's 291 and 360 take with 291 is going to be 69 degrees so and they you always have to write this statement with your answer as well because there's one mark for writing the statement because the angles in a quadrilateral they all add up to 360 degrees right guys that's the next question so we have got a kite here and we want to find out all the missing angles in a kite. So we want to find out this angle here, this angle here, 
and this angle here. So if I can give you a minute, take your time, do the question, and we're gonna mark it in a minute. Right guys, so um, just have a look how we can do this question. So that's 152 degrees, that's a straight line. So you'll find this angle first. So that's going to be 180, take away 152. Once you got this angle, then you add these two angles. And we also need to know that in a kite, these two angles are always equal. So you add these two angles, take away from 360 and divide that by two and you will get these angles. So just have a look. We know the adjacent angles on a straight line, uh, they add up to 180. So that angle is going to be 28 degrees. And a kite has one set of equal angles, which is this one there. So these two angles are going to be equal. And because a kite has got four sides, that means it's a quadrilateral. And we also know that all the angles in a quadrilateral, they add up to 360. So add these two angles up, and that's going to be 132. Take away from 360, that's going to be 228 degrees, and you divide that by two to get 114, because these two angles in a kite, they are equal. Right guys, we've got these questions here for you to give them a go. Um, you can pause the video, um, attempt them, and we're gonna discuss the answers um, in about a few minutes time. What right, guys, just have a look at this question here. Um, 112, 72, and 51. And we know that all the angles in a quadrilateral, they add up to 360. If you can add all of them up and take away from 360, we should get this answer. Um, right, and that's going to be 125. Right guys, let's have a look at this one there. Um, all the angles in a quadrilateral, they add up to 360. Uh, if we add all of them up and take away from 360, uh, your answer should be 21 degrees. Um, in this case, now these two dots or crosses means or the lines means that these two lines are equal. Uh, that means that's going to be an isosceles trapezium because two sides are parallel. So in an isosceles trapezium, uh, the base angles are equal. So if these two angles are equal, that means these two angles are equal as well. So if you add them together, 65 at 65, that's going to be 230. So take away from uh, 360 and divide by two and you should get 115. So that is 115 and that is 115 as well. But guys, with this question, uh, we need to know some facts about parallelogram. So in a parallelogram, the adjacent angles, they are supplementary. That means they add up to 180 degrees. So this is 109. If you want to find this one, that's going to be 180, take away 109, and that's going to be 71 degrees. And for this one, uh, again, the adjacent angles in a parallelogram, they add up to 180. So this is 81, um, take away from 180, and that's going to be 99 degrees. Right guys, for this one, we need to find this angle first. That's going to be 180, take away 132, and that's going to be 48 degrees. Then we have to find this angle here, and we know that this complete angle in a circle is 360. So that angle, 
is going to be 360 take away 141. And that's going to be 219. Now, in this shape, these two sides are equal. These two sides are equal. That is, these two angles are going to be equal as well. So what we need to do, 219 add 48. So add them together and take away from 360 and then divide the answer by two and you will get these uh, two angles here. So uh, 219 add 48 is going to be 267 and take away from uh, 360 that will give you 93 degrees and 93 divided by 2 will give you 46.5 degrees. So that's a bit of a tricky question but it's quite interesting as well. So for the last question first you have to find out M so to find out M, you know that uh, angles in a triangle are equal to 180. So first you do 38 plus 90 because it's a right angle. And then 38 plus 90 is 128. So you do, then you do 180 take away 128, which is 52. So opposite angles are equal, which would mean that N is also 52. And then S and N are opposite, which would mean that S is also equal to 52. And then you would do 52 plus 52, which is 104. And then because angles in a quadrilateral uh, equal to 360, you would do 360 take away 104, which is 256. And then you would do 256 divided by two, which is 128 to find out P and R. And which is going to be? Which is um, 128 for P and 128 for R. And then S is 52, N is 52, and M is 52 degrees. Perfect. Right, guys, just have a look at three more questions here. Uh, you can pause the screen, um, give them a go, and we're going to discuss the answers um, in a few minutes. Right, guys, um, this question here, we know the fact that angles um, in a quadrilateral, they add up to 360. So if we add them all up, and so 134 add 47 add 87, that's going to be 268, I think. And 360, take with 268 is going to be 92 degrees. So answer for this one is going to be 92 degrees. Go. First, we add 53 and 42 uh, to work out uh, the missing one in the triangle, which is 95 degrees. And then we do 180 take away 95 degrees, which is 85 degrees. Then we know the missing angle in the triangle. Opposite angles are equal, so the other angle would also be 85 degrees. And then we do 180 take away 104 to work out the missing angle. Uh, because angles on a straight line add up to 180 and we get 76 degrees and we have to add all of them together so we add 76 129 and 85 which is equal to 290 then we would subtract uh, 290 from 300 which is equal to 70 degrees so the remaining angle is 70 degrees right guys for this one uh, this quadrilateral is going to be impossible Although, if you add them all together, the answer is 360, but uh, it doesn't um, satisfy the conditions of a parallelogram. So in a parallelogram, the adjacent angles, they add up to 180, which is not the case here. And the opposite or diagonally opposite angles, they all, they're always equal. So it's not satisfying this condition either. So that's why this quadrilateral is impossible. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. Thanks for watching. If you find the information use useful, please like, share and subscribe.